One of the new controls that have been added to SIF UI is the text editor, which allows you to write multiple lines of text. We already had text field, but that only allowed for the single line. Text editor allows you to write paragraphs, descriptions, abstracts, and much more, which does take multiple lines. Now, in the previous version of SIF UI, you can still use a text view, but you'll have to write UI view representable. Well, not anymore, because now you can simply go ahead and start using the new text editor control. Text editor control takes in a text, which is a bindable expression. So I can go ahead and call this anything I want. I'm just gonna call this description. And now I can go over here and create a state property, private var description, so this means that anytime I write anything in the text editor, it is going to be saved and persisted in the description variable. Let's go ahead and run this. You will see that right now in the preview, it's not updated, but we'll give it a while and it will update and showcase us with the text editor. Sometime you do have to run this on a simulator to get it to work correctly. Let's go ahead and press the play button so that it is updating. Uh, I couldn't get it to work on Xcode previews, but now I'm running it on an actual, you can see simulator, and I can start typing. You can put a navigation view or padding to give it more, but you can see that we can type multiple lines of data, which is great because before that we were able to use the UI view representable and that was uh, quite a bit of work but now we can simply use the new text editor control so i hope you enjoy it if you like this video and want to support my channel then the best way would be to check out my swift ui course i am working towards updating the course to the current uh, swift ui so i will be adding new sections to reflect the new changes but you can see that this course is very comprehensive. It has more than 16 hours of content. We're gonna start from building list and navigation and then diving deep into MVVM design pattern, even implementing a complete JSON web API integration app with Surf UI. Later on, you will learn how to create apps which are talking with core data. You will also learn how to do Apple Stocks app clone and as well as Swift 2.0 controls. So this is a very, very large 16 plus hours of course. The best way to get this course is to check out the YouTube description. I also have a Patreon link in the description. So if you want to support me using a different way, maybe a monthly basis Patreon, that will be great too. Thank you so much. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.